Hi, my name is Manoj Krishna, and I'm a spine surgeon, and I've been a consultant since 1996. I want to talk to you now about cervical disc replacement surgery, which is the common operation we're now performing for problems related to the disc in the neck. By the time you come to a decision for surgery, you'd usually have been through a conservative treatment program, including painkillers, physiotherapy, and you may or may not have had some injections in your neck. You'd be offered surgery either because your pain is really severe or because it's not responding to conservative measures or because your quality of life is being significantly affected. The other big reason that brings patients to surgery is difficulty sleeping. I've had patients who have not been able to sleep for five to ten years and again after surgery are able to sleep beautifully. If you can't sleep, then that starts having a a bad effect on your health, including a higher risk of cardiovascular disease, higher risk of depression, and of course not being able to function during the day. So let me give you a background about cervical disc replacement. This is a procedure that uh, has been around for probably 10 years now, and there have been a number of studies in the literature which have shown that it is as good as, or in some cases better, than the previous treatment, which was a cervical fusion. The main advantage of a disc replacement or a fusion is that because there is some movement possible in that segment which we are treating, it doesn't put as much load on the level above and below that segment. So there's less of a chance of accelerated degeneration of the discs above and below. In contrast with a cervical fusion, which was the gold standard till now, the, there is a higher risk of uh, degeneration and pain coming from the discs above and below the fusion because of extra strain uh, put on those discs uh, in the next five to ten years. So this model here shows you what an artificial disc looks like. So here we have, this is a vertebra above, this is the vertebra below, and here in the middle you can see a disc replacement put in. This is a metal-on-metal -metal disc replacement made of titanium. And all we do is clear out the disc space, and this goes in as a block. And it's a ball and socket joint, uh, which I'm not sure you can see, but you can certainly look it up on the Internet. Um, and it allows limited motion um, in the uh, disc space. Typically, if you're doing a single level, uh, the surgery takes about an hour. Uh, hospital stays usually 24 hours. You have a drain in your neck, and um, you go home the next day. Most patients, when they go home, if they've come in with arm pain, say that the arm pain is improved immediately. In about a week to 10 days, you'll start noticing that the preoperative pain you had is gone, and you're left with a different type of pain in the neck. The wounds usually heal in about seven to eight days, and the risk of infection is very, very low. Most patients will complain after surgery of an aching in the muscles at the base of the neck, and that's just because the disc replacement um, is, um, oh, sorry, the body is getting used to the disc replacement. And again, with some acupuncture and physiotherapy, these residual muscle aches will settle. We generally tell patients that as a result of surgery, there's a very good chance of being much better. But the success of surgery cannot be guaranteed, and that's because our understanding of pain from the spine is not complete. What are the risks of surgery? Obviously, when you're having surgery, you need to balance up the benefits with the risks. Fortunately, in the neck, the risks of surgery are small, but those risks that are present are very serious indeed. So, for example, if we, you can potentially damage the spinal cord during surgery, but the chance of that happening is about one in 600, and really r rare. You can also damage the nerves, and so potentially have weakness in the arms and legs after surgery. But in more than uh, 13 years of surgery, we've probably encountered that problem once, and that too it was short-lived. The other risks of surgery are some swallowing difficulty. Now, everyone has some swallowing difficulty, which uh, lasts a few days and settles. But some patients, in some patients, it may last longer. Again, I don't have a single patient who has it as a long-term problem. 
a hoarse voice uh, because one of the nerves that supplies the vocal cords can get stretched. And that can last about three months and, again, usually settles. Um, other than that, uh, infection is possible but really um, rare because the blood supply to the skin here is, is so good. So by and large, people do really well and um, uh, recover fast. And return to work time is between four and six weeks. If you have any further questions, uh, please browse uh, the uh, much more detailed note on uh, cervical disc replacement on the site. There are also some video animations which allow you to see how the surgery is done.